balancing steam metal right here on this path okay, I still have some berries right here and stuff and the trees aren't torn down so I'm figuring there's no bear hanging out close by here That might be hard clay. Oh, it is hard clay. There's probably a footprint right there. Partial one left behind that I just stepped on. Watching for snakes and lizards same time it's always fun to uh, try to get a lot of life that's more variety than what we're just uh, keeping our mind on most of the time I was trying to figure out a way to clear my head, make sure I'm thinking sensibly. Watching for all kinds of signs. Out here we don't have to worry about coyotes much, they kind of disappeared to some extent. But um, they uh, really don't bother humans. Maybe if there was a young human, they might be inclined to come close to them or whatever. But if not an older human, they would just stay totally clear. Just a little bit of zooming. So realize obviously that guys, where you know there's going to be shade, go ahead and zoom in amongst that shade. So at base of trees, we always know there's a lot of shade. So you see how those, to me, and I'm only looking through the camera right now, they reflect like they're leaves from the ferns. Okay, sometimes you can see those kind of reflections, but very small, in a shape like I'm almost getting in the center there right now. The reason I picked those out is because they kind of stand out, and I believe sometimes they'll be using their arms like that. And then their arms, they get a certain sheen on it. Maybe even their, they give a little stroke of their hair on their arms or something to um, help of a certain look. And, well, the reason I also said fingers is because they'll do that with fingers and they'll have, you'll see like dozens 
maybe not dozens, but a lot of fingers, number of hands, and it's just something that can catch your eye, because the way that I've summed it up, summed it up, is I come in and I start trying to really look in at the uh, you know, the dimension of what I'm looking at, too. And I try to imagine lengths. I try to imagine thickness, thinness. You know, there's a lot that goes on with, um, going through heavy looking. People are pushing me a little bit to push hard on my videoing and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, I'm not doing a lot of it. I'm doing just mostly my own walking. Because look at how you have to stop and do all this and try to bring it in for the people and stuff. Give them a bit of a show. It's not like you get anything jumping up and down necessarily, so it's, um, it's work. It's a lot of work, and the way that I'm going about it is different, and it's okay, but it's different than the average person who's just walking around looking for certain basic evidence of them, footprints, and structures. Maybe some tree lanes and stuff like that. I get into it a little, <coughs> a little different than that. A lot different than that. And if you want to, whoops, kind of doing a full turn there. And if you want to uh, explore into my work, then feel free to look. Peace open the tin, man.